Both of these cards have 16 gigabytes of VRAM. One is a last generation mid-range card, while the other one, RX 9060 XT, is an entry level but the latest generation of RDNA 4 cards. According to Tech Power Up, the RX 7800 XT is about 29% faster compared to the 9060 XT, 16 gigabytes. However, the 9060 XT has FSR 4, while the RDNA 3 card doesn't have it. Now, this is probably something that a lot of people will consider. In terms of pricing, the RX 9060 XT is about $359. This is the cheapest that I can find in Amazon, while the RX 7800 XT is $599 new. What? Yeah, bro. It's really expensive. Don't buy the new one. Just buy the used one. And eBay, it's about like $499 orders. And open box ones at $479 at over at Newegg. For these things, we're just going to use that used price in terms of price comparison. Okay, let's start with some single player games. And for single player games, we try to aim for about like 60 FPS with the highest fidelity settings that we can uh, use. At 1080p Cyberpunk, you'll probably be getting a better experience with our 7800 XT, about 19% better on average FPS. The RX 9060 XT is actually not bad. We're running about like 110 FPS here, so it's actually good. When we go to 1440p, the lead of the RX 7800 XT actually extends. However, one of the things that you would look at as well is that the power consumption. The power consumption with 7800 XT is pretty like big compared to the 9060 XT, which is an entry-level card. But hey, 109 FPS against about 85 FPS. Hmm. Let's move on to the next game, Oblivion. We all know this is a stutter fist out in the open field. We're getting about 16% better average FPS in for the RX 7800 XT, but the lows are inferior compared to the, the newer 9060 XT. And one other thing that I have to mention in here as well is that in this game, we have access to FSR 4 with the 9060 XT. However, we only got like FSR 3 with the RX 7800 XT. At 1440p, we are getting about 27% better average FPS for the RX 7800 XT. However, it's a stutter phase and on the open field, the RX 9060 XT is a, a little bit better in terms of the 0.1% low, but it's a bit low. Let's move on to Stellar Blight. I like this game. There you go. I like the okay, game, man. Anyway, in this game, we're getting about like 100 FPS at 1080p. This is a very high settings and the RX 7800 XT is actually 35% better. It's a much better card here. Once again, you are running FSR 3, I think, with the 7800 XT. However, you will be able to do FSR 4 with the 9060 XT. At 1440p, now here we have FSR 4 and FSR 3. You are getting about better FPS with the 7800 XT. Look at that one, man. Huge difference, right? 46% better FPS. However, with the 9060 XT, at least as you're getting about 90, 90 plus, it's still high enough for single player games. Okay, let's move on. How about our shooting games, bro? Wherein we actually need those FPS, so competitive shooting games. And let's start with Warzone, everyone's favorite Warzone. And on the running benchmark, this one, boys, the average FPS is actually quite the same. Then it'd be basic. However, the lows are actually pretty bad with the RX 7800 XT. Now, I tested this one out. I've run this multiple times and it's still getting that one when I'm running. However, when I'm doing the firing benchmark, the RX 7800 XT doesn't have that issue. When we go to 1440p basic, the RX 7800 XT has still retains that higher average FPS. However, in terms of stability, it's actually pretty bad when we're doing the running benchmark. The RX 9060 XT is actually much preferred here. And once again, on our firing this, that one, those that does actually disappear. If I was given a choice between these two, I'd pick, I'd pick the 9060 XT because you really need that stability in Warzone. The FPS is really high enough, man. That's 190 and 200 plus. It's high enough for the 9060 XT at 1440p. Another shooting game is Delta Force. And this one, boys, just scales up with an RX 7800 XT. You're getting about 20 plus percent in terms of average FPS compared to the 9060 XT. On an R firing benchmark yeah you're getting a, a you know roughly about 20 percent more fps compared to the 9060 xt at 1440p now this one once again we have fsr4 and the 
9060XT, but we're only using FSR3 on the RX 5800 XT, you're still getting better FPS, better frame rates with the RX 7800 XT. However, because we're using FSR4 and the Delta Force uh, on the 9060XT, you'll be getting better quality upscale. Like we're getting like really high FPS here. That's a huge difference, boys. About 300 against 200 FPS. You know, most of the time you might not you notice these things as well. If it's just a really high fast-paced game, 40% better FPS, boys. Here we have PUBG. Pretty high FPS for both guys, right? 400 against 300. Yes, the RX 7800 XT is much better, but you know, it's 1080p. Let's go to 1440p. In this game, you actually need that visibility because you need to have that situational awareness. You need to know where the enemies are. And with RX 7800 XT, you're still getting a much better experience here. 30 percent more average FPS compared to the 9060 XT. You're still getting really high FPS for both cards. 300 is 250 on the heavy action benchmark. That's the same thing, about 270 against 200. Hey, you can go either way with this one. Okay, before we proceed, boys, I'm going to do a whole lot of testing with this one against other cards like the 3080 and uh, maybe this 9070 XT as well. So if you're keen on that one, subscribe to the channel. That it, we'll see how the RX 9060 XT actually fares out against those other powerful cards. Okay. How about hero shooters? Because everyone loves hero shooters, right? First up is Apex Legends. We're throwing in heavy action scenes in here at 1080p. We're getting about the max FPS here, credit FPS. Let's have a look at the stability. Boom. They're basically stable. However, the RX 7800 XT is much better here. And the static scenes, mm, that's uh, they're actually more or less the same, right? Uh, let's go 1440p. Now, 1440p with our heavy action scene. And boom, look at this one, boys. The RX 5800 XT is actually more stable. And the static scenes, yeah, you get better um, better frame rates with the RX 7800 XT. However, the 1960 XT is actually not bad. That's 250 against 300. The max FP is a 300. That's uh, okay. Let's move on to um, Marvel Rivals. And in here, boys, 1080p. It's it's quite good for both cats. Your FPS is really high. Now, we are using low settings here, but that's because we want to be competitive in here. 30% more um, FPS with our X7800 XT. We have maxed out both of our CADs in here. And when we go up to 1440p in here, boys, and we're getting about ooh, 170 and about 120. That's a huge difference between both of these guys, right? So we are using FSR 3 quality on the RX7800 XT and FSR 4 on the RX9060. XT. Look at that one. 39% more average FPS and actually much better lows compared to the RX 9060 XT, which is expected, right? Because you've got like the RX 7800 XT is a 1440p gaming card. Okay. How about PVE games? And first up is Helldivers 2. Yes, boys. And, and this one on our Gatling benchmark, the RX 7800 XT is actually the better card here, which is expected, right? It's a, it's a better card, 21% better in terms of average FPS. So got um, difference in power consumption. We're both GP bound in here. On our strategy of testing, it's the same thing, right? 28% better, which favors the RX 7800 XT. When we go up to 1440p, this is native 1440 be medium we are getting the lead now is higher so the rx7800 xt is now getting about 39 percent better have shift is and much better lows as well compared to our rx 9060 xt 130 against about 95 fps 90 plus fps on the 9060 xt let's go to battle of excel 2 now back to excel 2 i did use fsr for both cards but we have kept it at a uh, native on our 1080p testings uh, the rx 7800 xt is much better Slightly better, 30% better compared to the RX 9660. Once again, both of these cards are GPU bottleneck. When we go to 1440p, boom, and here we go. You do get like much lower FPS here on the RX 9660. That's about 10 FPS less compared to the RX 7800 XT. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's about 20% difference, right? Let's have a look at the upscaling differences between both of these guys. As I've mentioned before, the 19680 has FSR 4, while the RX 7800 XT only has FSR 3. And let's have a look at this first game. So this is Oblivion. We've done the benchmark earlier, and this is this is how it looks like with FSR 3 and FSR 4. Now we've zoomed in, right? It's probably not as clear. So I'm going to slow it down for you guys so you can actually see the difference here that obviously youtube compression will play a part here but you can see in here boys that actually the rx 9680 is much better you can see that on the edges of our um character with the rx 7800 xt it's just not good right in terms of movement how about Marvel Rivals? We're using FSR 4 for the 9060 XT. Good thing is with the RX 7800 XT, yes, there is FSR 3, but it's actually not a good quality one. So we've used DSR quality, which is, I think that's Epic upscaling technology, I think. Uh, yeah, that, I think that's F Epic's bro. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Look at the quality here. It's actually good in terms of quality, right? And it, it's not actually bad, right? So in terms of, I, I don't have the best eyes, man. But they're actually good, right? You can see they're actually good there. But besides video quality, let's have a look at FPS, so frame rate. So what if on our 1440p these things on Oblivion, we're going to use just native because the quality of FSR 3 is actually not good. So native on the RX 7800 XT against RX 9060 XT at, with quality FSR 4. And this is the difference here, boys, in terms of frame rates. And oh, look at that one. We're also using 9.7 gigabytes of VRAM at 1440p. Ooh, right. So the FPS is more or less the same. Yeah, they're, they're pretty close to each other. In terms of Marvel Rivals, and our heavy action scenes in here, PSR with the RX 7800 XT and FSR 4 9060 XT. But this one is just a clear, the, the RX 7800 XT is just a clear winner here. Around 39% more average FPS. All right. How about 4K, right? Because people would like to try out 4K. I mean, it makes sense for like single player games and games which are a bit casual and it's not a really sweaty. So let's have a look at Cyberpunk. So with Cyberpunk, we're using about 4K upscaling on both CADs here, which is I think we're just using FSR 2.1 in here. We're both GPU ball neck in here. And we're getting about 47, 40 plus FPS on the 9060 XT and about 50 FPS with the RX 7800 XT and um, Oblivion. It's the same thing, right? We get about 47% more in terms of average HPS. When we go to Stellar Blade, it's the same thing. Now, Stellar Blade just had those stutters, man. I think this is something to do with their DRM. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But in here, we're getting about 70 plus FPS against 50 FPS with the uh, 9060 XT. Obviously, the 9060 is not a 4K card, but it is playable, right? You can you can play that here if you want 4K. If you just want to play on your TV, yeah, go ahead, bro. Helldivers 2, same thing. 40% difference. 100 FPS on the um, RX 7800 XT while getting about 70 FPS on the 9060 XT. We do have um, enabled the upscaling in here. So this ultra quality uh, range their scale i think it's medium but yeah you you want to build that fps right pubg this is the only competitive game that we've added in this list and pubg like, as i've said you know you need that visibility or that situational awareness and despite using 4k we're still getting really decent fps 180 fps on the rx 7800 xt and about 140 on the 9060 xt on the running benchmark is about 30 uh, percent difference right on the rx 7800 xt and our heavy action benchmark yes this is now about 40% beta. That's 150 against 109. So it's actually viable here with our extra date and XT. Yes, we're using competitive settings in here, but you're getting really decent frame rates. So if you want to play 120 hertz 4K TV, you can do that. So the overall stats at 1080p with our x 800 XT, you are just getting about average FPS, about 16% better average FPS, and about like 12 or 13% of the lows. Uh, it's not as good, but you know, that's 1080p. I think where you would get like better frame rates is on 1440p. So 1440p, you're getting about 32% better average FPS with the RX 7800 XT and about like 25 on the lows, right? 20, 25 on the lows. And a 4K, yeah, the, the lead just extends, right? 40% because, you know, it's a 1440p card against a 1080p card. Obviously, the 1440p card would be better at 4K. However, as I mentioned, one thing that you have to to consider is that the RX 7800 XT at use 
is actually 39% more expensive. If you're buying new, bro, please don't buy new. Yeah, don't buy new, okay? That's 66% more expensive compared to the 9060 XT 16 gigabyte at $359. The key differences uh, with the RX 9060 XT, you've got FSR 4. You've got access to the FSR 4. The RDNA 3 cards will get FSR 4 support, maybe soon they're testing it out and the rx 9060 xt is more efficient that's using about 100 watts less if you're a 1080p gamer just playing 1080p just get the 9060 xt 16 gigabyte bro you're good right 359 dollars you're good you get fsr4 you get all that stuff brand new new warranty all good in terms of 4040p this is where it gets tricky because you would get higher fps with the rx 7800 xt Although you wouldn't get that upscaling FSR 4 technology, which is very important if you're really picky in terms of video quality. If you have an RX 7800 XT right now, you're good, bro. If you see a deal with the 9070 XT, sell your RX 7800 XT and buy that 9070 XT if you want to upgrade. However, if you don't want to upgrade, that's all good too. Just keep it. 4K, uh, it's a bit conflicted here. The RX 7800 XT can play 4K, but the FPS is not that high. Well, that is playable, but you know, if you're playing 4K, just you know, you're just chilling in there. Obviously, if I go competitive, I'll just drop it down to 1080p, bro. If I'm doing like sweaty competitive games, 1080p, that's it, man. What do you think? If you're giving chess, would you go for the 9060 XT, 16 gigabyte, or would you try to just get a used RX 7800 and God, God forbid, a new one? Please don't buy a new one, bro.